Are you all set, Ed? The all frequency sweep shows negative. The infrared sensor net's in place around the entrance. No one's gonna get through there with any kind of weapon, believe me. Good. Listen, did we really have to wear the fancy dress for this gig? Mark Schumann's a city hotshot. Julia Fairchild's the daughter of a government minister. You can't dress as if you were on Bondi Beach. Is Fairchild's life really in danger? Well, the last time I saw the minister on television, he was being pelted with eggs. He does have a way of upsetting people. That's why I wanted you here. Right, it's nearly time. Try not to scare any of the guests, will you? I'll go and check the scanner. Hey, I suppose the uh, next wedding we go to will be Ross's. <laughs> Ross and Channing, are you sure? Yeah, well, she's thinking about going to the States with him. Yeah, but I just thought that was just a job offer. Ah, maybe that's why she's not here. She not want to risk catching the bride's bouquet, eh? So we were worrying over nothing. Better safe than sorry. Well, how's my child looking? I hate these things. Julia insisted. Dad, <laughs> just because it was all cheesecloth and velvet suits at your wedding. Oh, darling, you look absolutely wonderful. Thank you, Barbara. I'm so glad you came. Oh. Barbara? You didn't hear that. Darling. The photographer's waiting. Coming. Right, now you can swap secret gossip on your own. See you later. This one of your lads? In a manner of speaking, Beckett, this is Anthony Fairchild. A pleasure to meet you, sir. I don't think anyone will have a go at me here, do you? Still, like your boss said, I can't afford to take chances. The director was right, sir. She normally is, in my experience. And know some of the braids on her own. Oh, not without you, Mark. No, no, go on, go on. What about um, over there, by the church? It's a beautiful location. OK. You two go back a long way? Long enough. Jan's been like a second mother to Julia. Julia's my goddaughter. Hey, get in! 
digitised video from the kidnappers sent by email. It just came in. Julia looks terrified. God, if they hurt her. Why do they have to take her, not me? Try not to worry, we'll get her back. Yeah, but what will they do with her in the meantime? God, if I could just get my hands on those thugs. Jan's team is the best there is, Mark. They'll get these people, they'll make sure they're dealt with. Shh. Stop the National Water Grid scheme, or you'll never see your daughter again. We are nature first. Nature first? <laughs> Who the hell are they? Some kind of eco-warriors. Damn modern technology. Hardly get fingerprints off an email ransom note. We don't need to. We can trace that email to its point of origin. You can? Ross has a program that does exactly that. I'll get right onto it. It was this uh, water scheme that started off the death threats in the first place, wasn't it, Minister? Yes. Some people seem to think it's a perversion of nature. Well, what is it, exactly? It's a means of ensuring we never have water shortages again. We're pumping water from places where they've got plenty and distributing it to drier areas via a national water grid. And this has upset the environmental lobby. Environmental protesters don't usually use kidnapping as a weapon. Rather unusual tactic, wouldn't you say, Ed? Look, look, what does it matter? I mean, some madmen have got hold of Julia. They could hurt her, kill her, do anything. Look, we've just got married. You can't let her die. Why don't you just abandon the water grid scheme? At this stage, the grid's due to come online in two weeks' time. Isn't your daughter more important than money or some water pipe? Look, Julia means everything to me. I'd do anything to get her out of this, but I'm a minister in the government as well. I have other responsibilities. We can't give in to blackmail. Look, I want my daughter back as much as you. We've got to put our trust in Jan's team, all right? Was the flight delayed? Yeah. Took off an hour late. I got this for you while I was waiting. There's not much cricket to watch in Los Angeles, so I thought if you're going to live there, you should get into the local game. <laughs> <laughs> Such a weedy little bat, no wonder they don't score any runs. There's none of this rain-stop play nonsense. I bought us a season ticket for the Dodgers. We can go every week. Have you made a decision yet? No, not yet. Come on, sell it to me again. Exactly how big is the office swimming pool? <laughs> I've managed to get Ros's software searching for an address for the email, but I can't get an answer out of it. Beckett, where is Ros? Still no sign of her? Trina. Oh. Beckett, Ros is irreplaceable. I can't agree to her leaving the bureau. No, neither can I. I've got the address. Guys, it's Roz. Give Roz the address and tell her to meet us there. Guys, are you sure this is the right place? Battle for the planet. Well, it sounds like they're environmentally concerned. This is definitely the address the email came from. We're not going to find out anything standing here, are we? Center. Hey, you, come in. Take me to your leader. This is what you're looking for. What is this place, anyway? It's a cyber cafe. Sort of a modern opium den. Do you mind? This is an access road to the information superhighway. Yeah? Well, then think of us as a roadblock. Any idea who might have been using this console at 2.30 this afternoon? No idea. Hunters pay for a half-hour surfing, and that's what they get. No names, no addresses, no membership, no hassle. Just the occasional government raid, of course, but no hassle. We're trying to trace a kidnapper. Oh, well, that's all right, then. Shame about the money I lose today, but hey, who needs to eat anyway? Well, it's not a complete disaster. You know, the ransom message was sent from that console, and we know at what time. 
So? Well, there are security cameras all over this part of town. Whoever's walked through their front door, they're gonna be on video. Let's check it out. Two-lane closure on the southbound carriageway. Whoa. Hey, guys. Come and have a look at this. 2.43 p.m. This stuff's from the security camera nearest Battle for the Planet. Yeah. There they are. Can I get a still of that? Now what? Yeah, okay. We run an ID check on these two. Yeah, send it over. Roz? Mm -hmm. Are you really thinking of leaving the Bureau? Maybe. I hope you don't. Alex, I'm trying to concentrate. It wouldn't be the same without you around. And besides, you've still got so much to teach me. Like when to drop a subject, perhaps. Positive IDs. Mm. Ed, look at this. Well, wow. no shortage of convictions. But there's one important thing missing. They're meant to be ecological campaigners, so I'd expect them to be members of Greenpeace at least. Yet neither of them shows the slightest interest in the environment, apart from the location of the nearest bank to rob. She's right. Just regular crims. You see? Maybe I don't have as much to teach you as you think. Well, whatever their motives, we need to track them down. Now, I've traced their journey on these videos. They hit the west out of town, took the old bypass. They turned off just over the river. Now, if they were going any distance, they'd have taken the motorway. Which means they must be somewhere in this sector here. And that's mostly farmland, isn't it? Exactly. It shouldn't be too hard to search. Alex, wait here for Beckett. Good news. We've identified the kidnappers. Oh, well done, lad. And what good will that do if they've already killed Julia? Ed and Roz are on their way, and I'm going straight over. Uh, where? The kidnappers used a cyber cafe to send the email. We've traced the car from there. Good work. That's great, isn't it, Mark? Brilliant, yes. Uh, look, can I come with you? Mark, I'm sorry. I can't put the groom in danger as well. I better get going. Good luck, Beckett. Well. Looks as if it could be all over very soon, eh? Ross, there's the vehicle. This must be the place. Eight minutes. I'm gonna go around the back, see how many exits there are. Okay. What do you hope to get out of all of this? Wages. It's just a job to us. The person who's paying you, what does he want? 
just do what we're told. Hello? Yeah. Right. Okay, straight away. Get out now. Yeah, they're clearing out. Attempted physical attack. Abandon the scheme, or we'll stop it for you. You've got 12 hours to decide. Then we take action. And your daughter's life. End of message. Looks like your abortive raid has only made matters worse. I wish you and that girl hadn't jumped in with both feet. Mr. Schumann, we did what we had to do. If the kidnappers hadn't been tipped off, we'd have got them and rescued Julia. And that girl, as you call her, was hit by a bullet. She was very lucky to escape with a flesh wound. Who could possibly have tipped them off? I won't find many green sympathizers in Whitehall. More's the pity, I sometimes think. Suppose it's not greens or environmentalists who have kidnapped Julia. Who else could it be? While we're at the farmhouse, the kidnappers talked about money, how they were just doing a job. They didn't seem particularly committed to any cause. We think that politics is just a cover. So what do they really want? There's been no demand for money. Could anybody make any money out of shutting the water grid system down? I don't see how. What about landowners who are having their property flooded for new reservoirs? They're getting good compensation. Isn't anybody suffering because of the river diversion scheme? No one's suffering at all. It's a major benefit to the whole nation. For God's sake, Julia's still in danger. Why are you worrying about compensation and businesses? I'm convinced we're not dealing with eco-terrorists. If we can find the real reason for the kidnap, we'll be that much closer to finding Julia. Ed, you and Alex, go and see what you can dig up. See if you can find anyone with any sort of financial motive. Ed? Yeah? Come and look at this. Here's a company with a grievance, the Curtis Drilling, here. You know, a large proportion of tap water in the south is obtained by extracting groundwater from deep wells. I didn't know that. Year for geography. With a receding water table and demographic changes, there's a constant need for new boreholes. But not if the new water scheme comes into operation. They stand to lose millions. You see, the drier than average weather made our business boom. Then plans were announced for the new water grid, and our share price plummeted. You weren't eligible for compensation? Uh, I'm afraid not. Unless there's a miracle, we'll be out of business before the end of the year. To tell you the truth, I don't know where young Mr. Curtis gets his optimism from. Mr. Curtis? Our chairman. It's an old family firm, and he's the last in the line. Can I talk to him? Oh, he never comes into the office, just calls in from time to time and tells me not to panic. Right. So how do I contact him? You could write. Oh, Mr. Hayes. Come on, surely you, um... Surely you must have a phone number. Confidential, I'm afraid. The company's on its last legs. I suppose it would give our mysterious Mr. Curtis a motive. Why mysterious? Well, it's funny. 
Apparently he never comes into the office. Never. Thank you. We'll have dinner at seven. Channing, this isn't a hotel. Isn't it? I'm paying it. For which I'm grateful. You've treated me very well. If I believed in fate, omens and superstition, I would say this was definitely a sign. Yeah, a sign of my carelessness. No, a sign that working for the Bureau is bad for your health. Oh, please, this is hardly more than a graze. Ros, you're lucky to be alive. Don't take any more chances. You've got so much to contribute, so many good ideas, a resource that's hardly been tapped. <laughs> please don't talk about me like I was some sort of new oil well. You know what I'm saying. There are so many projects you want to work on. What if something happened and you never got the chance? You can get killed crossing the road. Statistically, the odds are against it. Whereas working for the Bureau, it's time to put all this behind you and move into something safer. What, California? Home of fire, flood, riots, and on average, 85 earthquakes a year. Hello, cheerful. Mm. Well, I'm pleased to see you're receiving guests. I'm sorry I didn't bring you any grapes. The doctor advised only one visitor at a time. OK. Goodbye. What? Well, I thought you were just leaving. No, what I meant was... I need to speak to Ros in private. What? There's confidential bureau business which I need to discuss with one of my staff. Well, can't this wait? No. All right. I'll give you five minutes, Beckett. It's the least I can do. After all, I can talk to Ros any time. Who the heck are you? I'm with the Treasury, that's all you need to know. I have an urgent message for Mr Curtis. What message? Tell him we know about him and Julia. We're prepared to negotiate. We have to meet. The details are in here. But this doesn't make any sense. Not to you, but it will to Mr Curtis. Just tell him and get him here. Phone to Curtis as I left. Oh, excellent. He's hoping he's intrigued enough to come and pick up the envelope. What was in it anyway? For your motorcycle mag. Oh, nice one. I was going to read that while we waited. Well, I couldn't give him an empty envelope, could I? <sighs> we just have to find something else to do. <laughs> Are you going to the States with Channing then? Nothing's been decided yet. So, what? this business you wanted to discuss with me. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to say that um, you, you can claim for compensation. Industrial injury in the line of duty, that type of thing. I don't need any compensation. Is that it? Is that all you wanted to say? Yeah. I've been thinking about you and Channing and going to the States. And? I think you should go. I know you care for him, but it's work you care for most. And it's an offer you can't refuse. You must go for the work, if for nothing else. You've done some great work at the Bureau, Ros. Work to be really proud of. Going seems the only thing to do. The logical decision. Well, can't argue with logic, eh? <laughs> Don't say it. Don't say what? Something corny about me making a wonderful wife. <laughs> Nothing could be further from my mind. You're making a right pig's ear of that. Give it to me. Do you cook as well? 
Well, you just have to come over to my place and find out. <laughs> This could be him. Mark? What the hell's he doing here? Is he looking for us? No, he's got the package. I don't believe it. Mark is Curtis. Incident seeing you here. Ed! Are you all right? Those stitches were quiet, thank goodness. That's how many got away. No. I've got a tracker on his car. Mark? It's a desperate attempt to save his company from going under. Yeah, but kidnapping your own wife. I'd better get back to the bureau. Oh. Stay where you are. What? You're in no fit state to go back to work. Look, we may know who's behind this, but we haven't managed to locate the kidnapped girl. If Roz can help... Roz, what have we been saying? I thought you were going to put all this behind you. And besides, you're not well enough. I'm sorry, Becky. I do feel a bit... Right, well, I've got to get back to the bureau. Goodbye, Ros. Beckett. Take care. You all right? I hope he didn't say anything to upset you. No, not at all. Soon you'll be able to put all these secret agent games behind you for good. Yeah. What is this place? Some kind of office block or something? Yeah, it looks pretty empty. But there's definitely some activity on the top floor. Well, we could have come to meet the kidnappers. And if that's the case, Julia's there too. I think I'd better take a look around. Where are you going? I thought the plan was you'd stay well away. There's been a change of plan. They know I'm involved. So that's it. End of the game? No. It doesn't have to be. Ed! The sewing was great. You didn't have to do anything else to impress me. Oh, I needed the exercise. Besides, I don't think they were going to let me through the front door. We threatened to destroy the water grid scheme ourselves. We can still do that. OK. But you haven't paid us yet, don't forget. I won't forget. Get Julia ready to travel. And you'd better blindfold her. She mustn't see me. Alex, Julia's here. Same way I came in. Down there. Boss, there's a guy from the wedding. <laughs> He's the one who arranged to have you kidnapped. I... I don't understand. His name is Mark Curtis, not Schumann. And this is about saving his family firm by forcing your father to abandon the water grid scheme. This is... Is this true? Mark? Yeah, it's interesting. I thought you promised to love and cherish, not kidnap and terrify. Shut it. Let's move.
about people who'd sell their own mother. What sort of man plots to kidnap his own wife? If you wanted to cause maximum destruction, why would you attack the project? This is the nerve center of the whole system. It's not online yet, of course. Well, surely it's secure. Yes, but it's so high-tech and modern, it's all automated, completely unstaffed. Progress, eh? Fewer jobs. We'd better get there right away. You and Donaldson wait in the car. I'll take that. So how did you know about this place? It's all down to her father. He welcomed me into the family, told me to use his house as my own. I took him, literally. My father was here for the opening ceremony. He got pelted with eggs by the real environmentalist, poor Danny. Why are you not those two in the car? They've done what I needed. I paid them off. Paint them with what? We'll see. We're on our way to I've got the tickets. LA, here we come. Are you going to be fit enough to fly? I heal quickly. Are you sure you don't need me out there? No, we're fine. Wrapping things up at the bureau. Roz, you just concentrate on getting better. Now, you do have the right access codes to get into that water station. Of course. OK, now feel free to use any of my gizmos. You know where they are. They're on the second... We've got them. Look, Roz, stop worrying, OK? If we need you, we'll call you. What are we going to do without Roz? They need me. That's not what I heard. He didn't want to say, but I could hear it in his voice. Oh, for God's sake, Ros, think of yourself for a change. What do I have to do to make you see sense? Tie you down? If you discharge yourself from here, you're making a big mistake. OK, you win, bully. Have a snooze. I'll go and get a coffee. Expect the government to pay. It'll be worse for you if they don't. Hurting us won't help you. Kill me, the bureau will track you down that much quicker. Kill your wife, they'll never let you out of prison. How long have you been planning this? Ever since you met me? Or before? I was getting me to fall in love with you, all part of the plan. Sorry. Is that all you can say? If it hadn't been me, someone else would have taken advantage. Face it. It's stunning to look at, but totally naive.
You've made it much easier for me now! This bomb will devastate the area. Oh, they'll be flooding. It'll destroy the water grid scheme forever. Mark! Goodbye, Julia. Mark! Mark! I can't believe he actually wants to kill me. Having fun? Ross, this is devotion to duty. Does this mean you've decided to stay with us? <laughs> you never miss an opportunity, do you? That's unfair. I don't think so. I'm here because I care about my friends. My ticket for Los Angeles is in my bag. So why are you here? I have to keep in touch. My goddaughter, Julia's... Well, she's the nearest thing to family I have. Along with you, Beckett and the others. Well, if you care so much about us, I presume you're paying the money Mark demanded. You know that money never solved anything. No, I'm relying on you all to save her. I'll bear that in mind. Barbara. I'm disappointed in Beckett. Please don't ever call me that again. I can't move it. How long have we got before it explodes? Well, there is a timer, but it's not running yet. Mark must be using the remote control to detonate it. I was going to be swimming in the Caribbean today. It's where the honeymoon was booked. All the time he was planning this. Uh, Julia, I'm... Uh, I'm really sorry this isn't the Caribbean. Uh, I know you must feel... Uh, well, I can't imagine, really. But if you don't want to feel a whole lot worse and you want a chance of staying alive, you've got to help me help you, OK? Your arms there. Oh, careful. I'm imagining it's Mark's head or some more painful part. Ah. Great. Well, let's try and find a way out here. This is the place. Hope we're not too late. There's Mark. What's he done with Ed and Julia? Maybe if we open one of these, we can find a pipe we can escape through. But we may just let in millions of gallons of water. But the plant doesn't come online for another two weeks, so hopefully with a bit of luck, not all these are working yet. Well, we can't stay here. OK. Too, but I kind of get the feeling we chose the wrong one. <laughs> I 
safe. I wouldn't think so. Probably highly dangerous, but better than hanging around here. Let's go. Don't come any closer. Have you brought the money? Now, why would I want to do a thing like that? Try and get behind him. Well, to save massive destruction and flooding. Not to mention the lives of two people. This is a remote trigger for a bomb. Julia and disarm the bomb before we can make any kind of deal. No. I'm telling you what the deal is. I hold all the cards. Do what I say or I'll detonate that bomb. At least put the remote trigger down, then we can talk. <laughs> the detonator. You can't stop me. Okay, okay. What do you make of it? Tell Alex to zoom right in. Go to micro. Look, the clock's ticking, Roz. I know, I know. Central control chip. It's in the top left hand corner. I think you're right about this. Everything ready? Good. <laughs> I bought some things for the journey. I got this for you. It was 84 in Silicon Valley yesterday. I can't wait. 
That'll be the taxi. Let's get your cases in. This is how you see me, isn't it? What? Glossy outside, high-tech inside. No. Channing, if I come with you, you'll be disappointed. I'll be disappointed. What do you mean? I want more than logic and technology and science. I want... I need passion and excitement, uncertainty. You don't. It's my intellect you want, not my passion. Ross. I'm sorry. You better get going or you'll miss your flight. Logical decision? Not this time, no. <laughs> <laughs> 